The cloud you see before you in the sky unfortunately does not look like a dog. Worse yet, it's not even a real sky. In today's video, we're returning to Grand Theft Auto V to explore a dog-related mystery. And no, we're not going to be finding Chop's long-lost son, nor are we going to be questioning where he gets all of this poo. But what if I told you there was a canine-related encounter to be had just outside the city of Los Santos that will probably leave you scratching your head for a little bit? Chances are you already know, the game's been out for 10 years. But in case you don't know, or if you just simply fancy a trip down memory lane, join me as we ponder over the mysterious ghost dog. To have this encounter, we need to find the Strangers and Freaks mission known as Risk Assessment. It can be identified as a green question mark located here on the map, on the western side of Arthur's Pass Trails where the trail meets the road. And of course, the question mark's green colour indicates that this is a Stranger and Freak mission for Franklin specifically. Upon arrival here, Franklin will meet a lovely Golden Retriever. Hello, boy. What's that? You said a man is stuck in a tree. And he needs my help? Part of you would rather leave him there because he's a bit of a dick. But you're doing your civic duty. Okay, shit, show me. The dog barks, but Franklin appears to comprehend it as fleshed out sentences about a man stuck in a tree in the woods and the conversation continues as they run to where this man supposedly is. I've officially lost my damn mind. What, boy? He just jumped out of a fucking helicopter. His parachute fell to open? And now you kind of wish he'd missed a tree? But morality is a human construct and you are not hardwired to think that way? I can't believe I'm getting smart talked by a fucking dog. Say what? Wait, you talking about my kind of bitches or yours? This shit is getting weird now, man. Communicating with the dog gets weirder when Franklin realizes there is indeed a man stuck in a tree. Man, you wasn't wrong. Look at this fool. Hey, bro. <laughs> you mind giving me a hand here? Man, that's a cool ass dog you got, homie. What dog? <sighs> that dog that saved your, saved your ass, man. Dude, I have no idea what you're talking about right now. What the fuck? The bloke in the tree reveals that he doesn't own a dog, and upon turning around, Franklin notices the dog that guided him here is gone. The golden retriever that barked at him in such a way that he simply understood in complex sentences and not just a base need is nowhere to be seen. And we're left with a daredevil in a tree. My bad, dog. <sighs> oh. Oh. oh man, that was wild. See, I'm not an adrenaline junkie. I'm a control junkie. Yeah, that parachuting is intense, man. And hey, if along the way I figure out what it means to be alive, well then, let's just make this a little spiritual and say I'm on a thought journey. <laughs> shit, nothing helps me think clearly like shitting myself while I'm heading towards a certain death, man. Then you're up for it. Not really, dog. Shit, I respect gravity. Oh, I knew you were a pussy. <laughs> Come on. It's safe, I promise you. Safer than driving a car. The only way it's safer is if you drive a car out of a fucking airplane. Come on! Let's go! And with that, we're roped into a side mission chain in which Dom gets us to perform incredibly dangerous stunts. And he appears to have been doing it for a while, as suggested by the dog that spoke to Franklin in such a way that suggests he's fed up with Dom's antics by this point. What's your training background? Man, I found your crazy dumbass in the tree and now I'm here. That's all the background your ass need to know. Virgin in the drop zone! Hymen in the hole! <laughs> no, but seriously, I got you, don't sweat it. It's not rocket science, although it is in some ways. But I'm talking metaphorically, like, like you with that dog. I didn't get that, by the way. Wait, wait, hold on, man. So you telling me you have no memory of a fucking dog? <laughs> There you go again, it's off kilter, and I dig that about you, but we need to get on the same page, bud. Strategize and synergize, you feel me? Like the double helix. Man, all I'm feeling is regret on a whole new level. It appears as if the dog was only present to Franklin, as Dom has no recollection of the dog, 
However, the dog appears to know Dom very well, deducing that he's a bit of a tosser, something that's being vindicated by this helicopter ride, leading me to believe this isn't the first time the dog has stepped in to save his life, and by the looks of it, it won't be the last. In this first mission, we skydive onto Mount Chiliad, a fascinating in-game location for a bucket load of its own reasons, and from there we race Dom on push bikes down the mountain. I damn near killed myself, and you wasn't even pushing it. Whatever, bro. I know this bike. I know this body. I was operating at the perimeter of my parameters, and you were being reckless. And now you're having a winch. A what? Listen, meet me by the airport when you're grown up here, all right? So yeah, he's a bit of an ass, and we've unfortunately got to put up with him for a bit yet before we get a chance to see the dog again. First, Dom will sling us a text asking us to meet him at the airport. In fact, asking appears to be beneath him, it's more of a telling. But whatever, jumping out of a helicopter with a parachute is fun. There's no mention of the ghost dog here, but he has us ride quad bikes into the back of a cargo plane, and then ride the quad bikes out of the plane into a skydive. Not only is this reckless and irresponsible because the quad bike has to land somewhere, if indeed it doesn't land on your own head, it could ruin somebody else's day. And I suppose that shows you the regard Dom, the Dominator, has for others, which is nice of him. Ah, you feel that? Lightning bolt, zap! You're alive! You know how it feels! <laughs> Man, I know how it feels to ride an ATV out of a damn airplane. Man, how much that shit cost you per second? <laughs> it's relative, bro. How long did it take me to earn the bills? Listen, you go out walking amongst the drones. I'll be on top of the maze bank building with the higher beings. Dominator out! It appears to be one maniacal stunt after another with this clown, as the next time we see him, he's preparing for his next stunt atop the maze bank building. He has us jump from the building and parachute onto a moving truck. Okay! I suppose it's one way to learn how to skydive with precision. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, Captain Conservative actually jumped and figured you'd take the elevator. Dude, it's me, Jeff. No way, the Dominator didn't make it. Anyway, I'm going to drop you off at the rendezvous spot, all right? Upon managing to accomplish something that Dom couldn't, it appears his ego takes a bit of a hit, as he's not best pleased. You overcooked it, huh? Shit, I'm the king, the emperor, the supreme being of overcooking. I'll incinerate whatever you put in front of me! Boom! Nuke that shit! Man, I was just saying you missed a truck, dawg. Maybe a gust of wind or something, that's cool. Nah, it ain't cool. Land act reservoir now, bitch! We'll set the sliders to maximum and bust your tiny little processor. Poof! I'm gone. It seems he doesn't like being outdone and tells Franklin to head to land act now, which isn't actually the case because now you have to do every parachute jump on the map, of which there are enough for it to be quite the slog. Initially, there are 12 of these available, but I think there are 13 in total. They have enough variety to be interesting gameplay, but you're not here to hear me talk about that, are you? Fortunately, they're marked fairly clearly on the map, so they shouldn't be too difficult to find, and upon completing them all, we unlock the final Dom the Dominator mission, which will take us to Landact Dam where we will be reunited with what at this point feels like an old friend. Hey, what's up, my nigga? Good to see you, dawg. <laughs> that asshole is about to kill himself. Which asshole? Oh, that perfect investor guy. Shit, whatever. You're obligated to tell me. You really don't give a shit, but you were just made this way? He's this way, but you off to get cast in a movie role more suitable to your talents? Oh shit, alright dawg. I'll holler at you, my nigga. The dog once again takes off after telling us that Dom is putting himself once again in jeopardy. Hey Dom, what the hell you about to do, man? Nothing! It's perfectly safe! <laughs> like last time, huh? Yeah! If I don't hit your vagina on the way down... 
Hey, man, I ain't too sure about this one. Man, that motherfucking dog was the real deal. What dog? <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, man. Well, it's your call. <gasps> It's unclear as to what actually happened here. Did he intend to die, or did he just forget his parachute? You dumb idiot! Otherwise, the dog is now free to never have to warn anyone ever again about this man's crazy stunts. But we're still in the dark as to who or what the ghost dog could actually be. Firstly, obviously, there's an easter egg afoot of some description that appears to be a nod to Lassie. A TV show from a very long time ago, Famous for the pop culture line, Timmy's stuck in the well. Apparently, a line that was never actually said in any of the many hundreds of episodes of the show. But obviously in that show, Lassie the dog, a rough-haired collie named Lassie, would save the day. But that reference doesn't explain this dog's otherworldly traits. The dog communicates by barking at Franklin, which Franklin appears to comprehend as full-on complex English sentences that then turn out to be true, and Franklin is compelled to repeat that everything the dog says, almost as if translating it isn't a voluntary action. No doubt it's just so we understand, but there's no denying it's very peculiar. Furthermore, once the dog has successfully sourced help for Dom, it disappears, as if it was never there in the first place and only Franklin could ever see it. Even Dom, whom the dog is aiding, doesn't know that the dog is present, and the dog's communications with Franklin suggest that he's not happy about being compelled to help Dom, but rather has no choice but to try. An effort that is eventually lost against Dom, the Dominator Beasley's disregard for health and safety. Encounters with the ghost dog are mysterious. They raise more questions than they answer, and the side missions these encounters are attached to don't really pertain to its presence at all. It gets mentioned once or twice, but nothing about the ghost dog is clarified. We don't know his name. We don't know his nature. Though, considering he's helping somebody he doesn't even really like, we can only really assume that his intentions are good. I suppose in that sense the dog is like a fed-up guardian angel, and perhaps that is the only logical explanation an entity taking on the form of a dog to protect Dom, but even it is exhausted by his constant daring antics, not to mention as suggested by his obituary in the news, he wasn't a well-liked man. Anyway, while using the in-game internet, could there be anything that might suggest anything about the dog that we've encountered? Well, there's nothing really concrete, but I have seen connections drawn to a website known as www.acceptthechaos.com, on which there is a picture of a lovely family of four and their golden retriever dog, and beneath it is a button that says click here to play God. Upon clicking it, it flicks to a picture of the family and the dog dead in a car collision with a tree, which is unsettling to say the least, and it appears to be in a similar area or at least a similar environment to where we encountered the ghost dog the first time. So, could that be an origin story for the ghost dog? Well, possibly, but also probably not. Golden Retrievers are incredibly popular dogs. You don't have to venture far to find one, and so the chances are that dog is unrelated to this one, but it cannot be eliminated as a possibility. Furthermore, if that were the same dog, why would it then assign itself to Dominic Beasley of all people? But even if this ghost dog has different origins, what makes Dom so special? Besides from the fact that he was more likely to get himself killed doing something stupid, and indeed did. Maybe it's because of that and his evident inability to form genuine human connections that made him require an otherworldly protector in the first place. And upon the dog's resignation from that responsibility in the second encounter we have with him, the Dominator plunges to his death, leaving behind a legacy of doing stunts and being an ass. As for what becomes of the dog after this point, well, as it said, it's going to leave and be cast in a movie more suited to its talents. Whatever that means, it's probably just a joke at the expense of Lassie. As for what follows, we will probably never know. Maybe the dog did begin a new movie career, or maybe it's just an implication that it's off to protect 
maybe somebody else. This is the kind of mysterious stuff that I really like exploring, and though there are no concrete answers as to the true nature of the dog, and what it actually is outside of being a comedic pop culture reference, I found it fun to ponder over this one, and look forward to finding perhaps more small stories as interesting as this, whether it be in this game or inevitably in Grand Theft Auto 6, whenever that actually happens to be releasing. But with nothing else really to go over, I think we need to give it a little bit of a conclusion. In my opinion, the ghost dog is Dom Beasley's guardian angel, arguably fed up with his antics. And I suppose the moral of this adventure is sometimes people are just far too stupid to be saved, especially from themselves. If you enjoyed this little video, be sure to leave a like on it, I would massively appreciate that. Thank you all for watching, I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you're new, maybe even hit subscribe, it's entirely up to you. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on the ghost dog down in the comments, and if there's anything else in the Grand Theft Auto series you would like me to investigate, or anything similar to this in other games, I'm not too fussy, be sure to let me know and we'll see what we can do. But with any luck, I'll be seeing you all very soon with another video at some point, but until next time, please take care and goodbye.